Here's the desk setup makeover in my small studio apartment. It is always a problem to find a spot for work in a small space. Well, most of the time I work at the dining table with food, coffee, a bunch of mugs and other stuff. Or I sit hunched over at a very narrow IKEA desk. It was only 23 inches and my hands were just constantly falling from the table. And also I had dining chairs, which are not suitable for long periods of working hours and not healthy for my back. Here are three main problems with my previous workspace. First, the laptop is on a low level eye view, so I'm sitting not in a really good pose and my neck and back always hurt after a few hours of sitting. Second problem, hands are always off the table, so my shoulders are always in tension. And third, my back is not supported at all while I'm sitting on an uncomfortable chair. Well, this workspace is kinda crap and I didn't pay attention to it until now. So I decided to upgrade my apartment and make myself a proper desk set. Cheap and decent. So I went shopping. First, table. This model is super cheap. I was walking around IKEA comparing countertops but didn't find the style I was looking for. Most suitable options in IKEA were too huge for my studio apartment. So we went to with a 47 to 23 inch countertop for $60 that I found on some random Amazon store. It is from some cheap local factory and there were some neutral negative reviews about missing parts and sometimes wrong geometry of a desk. I didn't have that problem, just some missing screws, but I found them in the near store in a building. Of course, at the end, the desk definitely feels cheap, but for me it's a lot better than my previous options and solves my second problem. Right now my hands are on the desk at all times. And I kinda like the look of this table. It has a fake wood finish, but from a distance it looks like real wood, just for $60. Good enough for a first version of desk setup. Maybe next time I'll be fortunate enough to buy real wood. The second thing that I really needed to buy was a decent chair. And straight away I went to IKEA because IKEA stuff is pretty cheap and Swedish design and quality are really good. I looked through other stores, but didn't find any nice looking chairs for the same price Everything I came across was super ugly. By the way, if you have any recommendations for chairs or other desk setup stuff, write in the comments, maybe I'm looking in the wrong directions. At IKEA I was looking at minimalistic looking models. I wanted to go with uh, Jarf Yalet, but it's too big for our studio, so I bought... Oh, I'm sorry, Langfjall. Well, it has all the functions of a chair. It has nice wheels, you can lean on it, and if needed, you can fix the back of the chair. And also one of the most important factors that it fits in the interior of our studio. It costs 240, not so cheap, but I decided to invest some money in my health, you know. And this chair solves the third problem of my workspace. My back says thank you. Why I skipped the first problem, you may ask. Well, I left it for dessert because the main purchase of my new workspace was a huge monitor. I have found the perfect model just in a couple of days of browsing stores. It's a 27 inch Dell. It can turn in any direction, which is nice, but the main feature for me, I can connect my laptop to the monitor through USB-C cable. So it really needs just two cables to make this desk setup running. And this monitor provides power supply through cable. It has 60 watts, so my MacBook is perfectly sitting on a full charge, powering from monitor. It also has some USB ports, so I can connect my chip mouse directly to the monitor, which is really nice for cable management. Half of the USB ports also provide power supply, so you can charge your phone or iPads or any other device directly from the monitor colors of this Dell are pretty good compared to my bright MacBook. It's perfectly calibrated straight out of the box. But as for resolution, when you stretch the 13-inch MacBook to 27-inch Dell with the same resolution, it doesn't feel as sharp as on a MacBook. I think for me 4K displays can solve this issue, but the price range will be different. I paid around 600 for it and 4K will be around 1000. Well, as for the first problem of my workspace, monitor solves it immediately. When you work with an external display, you are looking straight and your line of sight doesn't turn to the table at some weird angle. Well, if you care about your health, you need to look at the main parts of any desk setup. Desk itself to have more space for your hands and stuff, chair to support your back and monitor to relieve your neck. As for some other accessories that I have on my desk, I use an iPad for sketches, note-taking, reading books and for Pomodoro tracker. It's an older generation iPad, mini from 2019, and if I were buying right now, I would definitely buy the newer versions. Well, iPad mini, whatever generation you have, is super tiny and it fits in my jacket's pocket. I carry it with me everywhere, it doesn't take too much space and weight. If you're a student or any type of creator, an iPad is a great instrument for you. My next favorite desk setup essential is my Bang & Olsen speaker that my friends gifted me. 
kind of a price for what this device does, but I love Scandinavian design where Bang & Olufsen comes from and the simplicity of this speaker. It has only one button and a lot of nice smart functions that you can set in the app. You can enable an alarm and it will play the current playlist from your Spotify. You can double tap on speaker to pause and resume the music. And to skip the track, you just need to shake the speaker. Right now it's connected to my laptop and I just have it playing on my desk while I edit some videos or watch YouTube. I also connect it to my record player and it works pretty smooth with it. All in all, portable speakers are a recommendation from me for any desk setup and day-to-day -day life. Next thing is of course candles. Every desk setup needs a candle to bring some chill vibes and nice scents floating around the room. I wish I had a stand for my laptop, but for now I'm just using it in front of a monitor without a keyboard. It has a little problem because the laptop screen doesn't fit under the monitor and the monitor stand is too wide, so there is a big and used gap between the wall and the monitor. Thinking about using some other mounts for this Dell or just buy a laptop stand and a separate keyboard. Let me know what are you using in your desk setup. The last thing I have is a cheap mouse. It's A4 Tech mouse that I bought years ago for $20. The main flow is wired, but all in all it's super comfy for all my workflows. Maybe I'll upgrade it to a wireless one soon in the second version of desk setup. Speaking of wires, this setup has just three essential wires, two from the monitor and one from the mouse. From time to time I charge my devices, so I bought some wire hangers from IKEA and hide all the stuff with a duct tape. Well, this is my budget desk setup and I'm happy with how it turned out. I will definitely make a series if you like this video. Thank you all for watching and subscribing for new videos. See ya!